keep watching to see what happens. It's been a really long day. Good morning beautiful people, it is Monday 30th of May, it is 8.03 in the morning and you may recognise this building, this is where we stopped yesterday um, with Preet and had our lunch. Now uh, we then got collected by Alex Frem, went back to her house, had an amazing shower, dinner, breakfast, all that good stuff and then we are now back in Burryport and we are going to be continuing uh, over that bridge that way. Today we're going to be heading to the Gower and the plan is to walk 24 miles crossing the bridge over the port so Alex is just waiting for me by the bridge we just got, we got dropped off initially there is a co-op just over the bridge over there so we went to the co-op did a resupply and then walked back down here but to make sure I started uh, from where we finished yesterday I just walked back over the bridge back to the crazy crap place and now we're back on the Wales coast path Boom, let's go check it out. We just started walking and we, get, and we just kept stumbling in these like big old divots in the road. And we were just like, you know, up and down, up and down. And then we were looking across and we were just like chatting and thinking, oh, do you think that's where we're going later? Um, over the other side. And then Alex was like, hold on, why are we not walking on this beautiful, perfect path right here? So um, yeah. Uh, pay attention. We obviously weren't, our brains weren't quite uh, switched on this morning. Well, that's a lot better than that. No divots on here. But yeah, that's where we're walking. So we're going to go so quite far inland, bang around the corner and get onto the Gower. I was really starting to think I'm losing my ability to read and to spell because I was thinking, I am sure Millennium is not spelt like that. And then obviously I came around the other side and it's written Millennium coastal park so we've got this big old silver statue behind us so if alex is five foot four how tall is the statue comment down below with your answers <laughs> so one thing that we have noticed this morning leaving burryport everyone is so friendly so we've had dog waters dog walkers cyclists they're all like good morning morning good morning and it's all a bit like, oh, wow, we're not, we're not used to this. This is like, morning. morning. I mean, it's lovely, it's brilliant. It's just, uh, I want to try and film all the rest of the people just saying good morning. Hopefully there will be a few more people saying good morning. To be fair, we are dominating. We are going at a nice speed, very consistent. Oh, these 24 miles are going to fly by. I really hope I haven't spoken too soon. <laughs> <You've just laughs> Have I just it. jinxed us? Yeah. This is when I film is like 12 hours later. Like, yeah, we're still walking. Yeah, haven't quite made the campsite yet. <laughs> Keep watching to see what happens. So we've just made it to North Dock and we're going to be going slightly inland here now. <laughs> this is the way we go. Oh, so crossing a bridge, one side, uh, muck, not that great. Mud flats, amazing muck. <laughs> <laughs> go on there, go on. It's an amazing habitat for loads of different creatures. It's marvellous having this here, I love it. And it gets completely covered with water when the tide's high and then it goes back down to the mud at this time of day. You've heard it here. <laughs> you heard it here first. So not just mud and growth, amazing habitat for wildlife. But on the other side, we've got loads of water. And I don't know if you can see people swimming with their orange, what are these orange things called? Uh, floats? The, yeah, the orange, orange floats. For uh, visibility. Yeah, for visibility in the water. So they're swimming along. So, uh, yay! Ladies and gentlemen, let me, let me introduce you to our <laughs> special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi everyone, my name is Julia, Julia Goodfellow-Smith. <laughs> um, so Julia, do you want to tell everyone a little bit more about what you do? I am a writer and a hiker, and I guess I'm a little bit of a cyclist as well, but I haven't done as much of that. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about one of your big walks that you took on? 
couple of years ago I walked the southwest coast path which was an amazing adventure I'd never really done any hiking on my own before and I'd never wild camped on my own before and I did it all in the wonderful wonderful scenery of the southwest of England but that's not where we are today Today we're in the wonderful scenery of Wales and the Welsh coast and I love this section of the Welsh coast path which is why I live here. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd love to know what would be your one top tip and advice for somebody who's thinking, do you know what, I want to get out, I want to get walking, what would you say to them? I would say two things actually, I'm not sure I can only give one piece of advice. One would be to make sure you've got something that's a little bit waterproof, particularly if you're walking in Wales, because it does rain here sometimes, but we do have some glorious weather as well, I have to say. And the second one is think about where you're going and your levels of fitness. This particular part of the Wales Coast Path around Carmarthen Bay is fairly low level, there's not a lot of climbing, so if you're not that fit, it's a great place to start walking. It's beautiful, but it's not particularly challenging. If you are much fitter and you like to have a few cliffs to walk up and down, then maybe the Gower Coast Path, and I'm pointing because it's just over there, <laughs> <laughs> um, or some of the more mountainous parts of Wales instead. So think about your fitness levels and just make sure you've got something a little bit waterproof to wear. Okay. And the very important question, what is your favourite snack to eat while you are on the trail? I am a lover of naked bars, I have to say. Not just because of the name, <laughs> because they're just fabulous to eat they're full of energy and they taste scrummy fantastic now you're actually working on a very special project and I know you can't share that much about it but do you just want to give us some hints and tips and a little clues and also let people know where they can find more information about you and follow along with you thank you yes I'm currently writing three walking guidebooks one in the Midlands, one in South Wales, and one that's going to cover the whole of the country or the whole of the UK. I'm very excited about my opportunity to tour around the place, test out walks. I think the real benefit of walking guidebooks is that you can tell when there's a path that actually works or not, because I spend a lot of time backtracking when I'm testing the walks out to make sure that they're usable and an amazing route for the, for the walkers. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. And I can't remember the second question. The second question is, how can people follow along and find out about all of your walking books coming out in the future? Thank you very much. Well, you can find me at juliags.com. That's J-U-L-I-A-G-S.com. And on social media, I am at Julia GS Adventure. Woo! <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> so more knowledge coming your way. Now, so we we were okay. So we're sat here on a bench. Oh, it's quite cold. It's getting cold. <laughs> we're cold, and we are overlooking the view. And what we, we were just chatting, and I was like, I was going to basically, I was going to spring a question, basically saying, so tell us about the lake, and then actually gone. <laughs> this lake is on the site of an old brickworks, and this part of the South Wales coast path that Sarah's walking along at the moment used to be a massive industrial site. There are still large steelworks in the area but I think it's 90%, some huge proportion of all of the world's copper used to be processed in this area. This particular site was a brickworks. We've walked past some copper works, some old copper works this morning. The dock that Sarah filmed earlier in the 1970s used to have big ships docking in there still. This was a big coal mining area. It's really hard to imagine that this used to be an industrial area. If you just yeah. stand, pan the camera around again, Sarah, you can see it's just beautiful. This is, a, this is actually a golf course, this bit. And it's got these beautiful lakes, rolling hills, lovely beaches. It's just gorgeous. And to think it used to be really sort of nasty, polluted uh, industrial site. Would you like to tell me who your horses are? <laughs> uh. This is Bess, and that is uh, Whitey. Whitey! Oh, what yeah. breed are they? Pardon? What breed are they? Every cob. Every cob. And sorry, what's your name? Mervyn. Mervyn. Oh, they're wonderful. How old are they? Well, this uh, was five year old. Five year old? And this was eight year old. Oh, my goodness. They're in full. I'm putting them in your no fresh. <laughs> yeah. Fresh field. Oh, beautiful. Aren't you gorgeous, Whitey? <laughs> You're a little cutie pie, aren't you? Do they get ridden? 
She's she's been riding, yeah. Yeah. The girl you were age, yeah, she was riding her. Oh really? How old do you think I am? About forty. Oh, he, I see. <laughs> spot, spot on. on. I was thinking when he said a girl your age, I was thinking, oh, I bet he thinks I'm like a young teenager. <laughs> oh, <laughs> about forty. Yeah, I was forty in September, so very good. Oh. How, how old do you think this lady I'm is? Not a bad judge. No, you're a very good judge. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. Oh, that's so wonderful. New signpost, we are here. I'm not even going to attempt to say it. This is where we started from today. We've walked along here, past the train tracks, all the way along here, round this roundabout, yeah, through here, all the way, and we're only here. Like, we haven't gone that far. Like, although we've done 22,985 steps, and according to my watch, 11 miles. So, we've got about 15 more to go. more beautiful nature this time I think I'd call it green sludge obviously not the technical term but I'm on a bridge with a car behind me so I better get off the bridge and stop filming <laughs> so we are walking a lot on tarmac and the thing to remember when you're doing a lot of tarmac walking or pavement walking is you're a lot faster however it is so much harder on your feet so I can really feel it on like the, from, um, from my ankle to just below my knee on both legs. Especially when you know you've still got another, another like nine miles to go. So it is quite intense pavement walking, tarmac walking. You've always just got to bear that in mind when you pick paths and walks to do. So the Wales Coast Path is about 20% tarmac road. Um, pavement etc but the rest of the time it's generally very soft underfoot um, which makes for lovely walking uh, yeah we're still I don't, I don't really feel as though I've seen the beauty of the Gower just yet the first half of the morning yes beautiful stunning but at this moment in time road pavement bushes blocking the view but it is gonna get better it is gonna get better keep watching keep watching so we've met somebody fabulous on the Wales Coast Path out on the Gower. Would you like to introduce yourself? What is your name? Hello guys, uh, my name's Josh. This is Basil. Hi Basil. Hey Basil. Um, me and Basil are currently walking 19,000 miles, just over 19,000 miles around uh, the coastline of England, Wales, Northern Ireland, Scotland, and 147 islands off the mainland. Um, we are raising money for Hampshire and Ollawa Air Ambulance and we're raising awareness for mental health and male suicide. Reason being, in a nutshell, um, the air ambulance has saved my life. I was in a coma on life support, basically after trying to commit suicide. So trying to do something big, positive for myself, healing, um, rediscovering life, a bit of a self-discovery journey. And hopefully, I can inspire lots of people around the coast to realise that life is worth living if they're going through a similar situation. I'm trying to change the world, I guess. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. And how can people sponsor you and how can people follow along with your journey? Uh, so, my name is Josh Codling. If you put that in Google, it will all come up. But if you want to follow my Facebook or Instagram, my Facebook is My Walk to Rediscovery. My Instagram is sand, as in the beach, sea, as in the ocean, basil and me. So, sand, sea, basil and me. Oh. 
fantastic. We'll put all the links down below. So go give Josh and Basil a follow <laughs> as they continue on their epic journey around the coast. That's honestly incredible what you're doing. Absolutely amazing. It's 3.42 team. We are powering on, coming up to 20 miles. I've done about 40,000 steps. Alex checked her phone and you have done 43 and a half thousand sets yeah. I have very small legs yeah <laughs> we are we are feeling the pain vibrating up and down our legs on this tarmac uh, so we've been paying ice by and also looking at pretty horses uh, what else oh we're gonna walk for the next 18 minutes and then we're gonna have a break but we are let's do it this is the scenery it's been a really long day we are so tired uh but so we're on grass yeah we've changed now from the tarmac to grass and it's amazing we've still got about four and a half miles to go Ooh. um but we're getting it done we're going through some beautiful little forests scenic views oh yeah it's so sad when you see the broken signs because you never know like has someone done it maliciously is it an accident um, but luckily there are also signs on telegraph poles, so we know, we know we are, oh, that's a nice stretch, oh, lush, uh, we know we are on the right track, 48,667 steps, and look, bottom right, 23.6 miles, I've burned 2,146 calories, we're still not there yet. it's been a long day so it's about three minutes to seven o'clock 56,541 steps 542 27.4 miles this could be the biggest day we've done I've burned 2,414 calories uh, just trying to get myself organized I'm on a little bit of a slope um, so what I've done is in my blue dry sack this is where all like my clothes and extra like uh, dry sacks and stuff I'm not using just goes in yellow bag guidebook electronics blue bag um, my food and I've got my pillow my um, my warm clothes I'm gonna put on I've taken my sleeping bag out already obviously it's down so it needs to like puff up a little bit same with my jacket I'm just gonna change my top half and then I'm gonna go to the loo then I'm gonna refill my water bladder then I'm gonna come back and change my pants then I'm gonna write my notes on my iPhone and then I think I'll be ready for bed because it's been a long day, but a great day, a good day, a tough day. Um, yeah. Whew, first day of the gower done. Whoop, whoop, whoop.